By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of the house, to the saving of his house. Somebody say, save your house. Save your house. By the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obey. And he went out. Somebody say, obey God. Obey God. And he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith, he searched in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore spring there even of one and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we praise your name, we worship you, we magnify your name, O oh God, you are worthy to be praised. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise just because of who you are. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy, God. We thank you for your grace, God. We thank you for your hand upon our lives. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We have gathered in this sanctuary, oh God. New Creation Christian Ministries, the Kingdom Church, oh God. As we have gathered here, oh God, Father God, to fellowship with each other, to strengthen each other, to worship you, to hear your word, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God, to bring our tithes and our offerings, oh God, to surrender our all to you. Oh God, we ask God that you have your way, God, during this part of the worship service, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you save souls, change lives, set the captives free, open the eyes of the blind, heal the sick, oh God. Give grace, oh God, to those who are troubled, oh God. Give strength to the weak, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, give hope to the hopeless. Increase our faith on today, God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you, Lord. We ask that your Holy Spirit will move through this sanctuary in a mighty way, oh God. Hallelujah. Touching every person that is yet a simple, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, speak. Uh, speak, Lord, hallelujah, for your servants are listening, God. And if we don't hear from you, God, we don't know what we will do, oh God. So, Lord, we ask, Father God, that you will just let yourself be God in this place because you alone are God. Hallelujah. So, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you. We praise you for what you are yet to do, God. In this house, oh God, we consider it already done, oh God. And after it's all said and done, as we do the benediction and prepare to go home, we will give you and you only the glory, the honor, and the praise. And it's in the precious, matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, that we pray. And let the people of God say, Amen. Shout out, take the limits off of God. Take the limits off of God. Uh, shout it again, take the limits off of God. I said nothing is impossible with God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve a limited, limitless God. Hallelujah. There's nothing that God can't do. Uh, hallelujah. There's nothing that God can't do. And God has some very specific things that He has planned. Uh, God has some things that he has planned for your life and I'm here today with this word prophetically because I believe that some of you are in a position where your faith is low and 
your faith on today. Some of you have put limits on God. You have put limits on your faith. You have put limits on yourself. And God gave me this word and he said, tell my people to take the limits off.
spoken, amen, and do the ability of his word. I forbid that it's not said, hallelujah. I believe it, and that sentence it. Come on, somebody. Bird. 
Uh, make sure you get somebody to agree with you. Uh, don't run around with people who don't have no faith. Uh, don't run around with people who don't believe. Uh, don't run around with people who are going to talk down your dreams. Uh, who are going to talk down your purpose. Uh, who are going to talk down your faith in God. And what God said about you. Jesus. Praise God. What's the Every time you open your mouth, hallelujah, things happen. I said every time you speak a word, things happen. That's the kind of power you have. When I was on welfare, I sat in the welfare office and said, I don't want to be on welfare no more. Come on, somebody. Within a month, I was on welfare. I wish somebody would hear God on today. Not only was I on welfare, but I was sitting up in Wall Street. Come on, somebody. Where we ain't gonna lay hands on the sick. 
says that he's going to do what he can, says he's going to do. And, 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 and it says that faith is the substance. And I'm going to get back to my point about what hinders faith. But faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Yeah. When I looked at that Greek word for substance, sue, hallelujah, it's, it's the material, the, 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 uh, the, the, the appearance, the confidence of things hoped for. But you know another word that I saw a woman of God when I looked at the word substance? It was foundation. The foundation of things hoped for. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Ah, ah, see, a lot of times we, we stop hoping for stuff because we have no foundation. My God, my God, a lot of times people stop hoping for the house, the car, the, 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 the great marriage. People stop hoping, hallelujah, for a better life. How many of you believe God wants you to have a better life? My God. They tear us up talking about this prosperity gospel. But this ain't no prosperity gospel. Come on, somebody. This is the good news. Come on. Jesus said the good news is to preach the gospel to the poor. Come on. Hallelujah. So you're not poor and you preach the good news to me. That means I don't got to be poor no more. Come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, 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 so. So my hope is not in materialistic things, but when, when I begin to hope in, in, for a house, let me ask you a question. Is that in the promises of God? When I begin to hope, hallelujah, for a car or a chariot, is that in the promises of God? When I begin to hope for all my bills to be paid and for me to be debt free, is that in the promises of God? The devil is a liar. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're going to hope for better. Come on. Hallelujah. So, 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 so we get conflicted. I know it might sound like I'm all over it with this word, but I got so much in my spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and we get conflicted, and, and we don't know what's a promise and, and what's, what's, what's our own desire. But if you're in Christ and you're delighting yourself in the Lord, and you have some desires for the better and the finer things of life. And you even have desires for your family to walk in unity. For your marriage to be made whole. Yes. For your, your, the peace of your children to be great. Hallelujah. Then those are desires that have been given to you by God. According to his promises. Because God says as you delight yourself in me. Come on church. Frustrated. We get frustrated with what? We get frustrated. 
Come on, somebody. Give God some praise.
Faith is true. James says, faith without works is dead. Paul says, by faith we are saved. It's not a contradiction. By faith you are saved and, and you receive the power to become a son or a daughter of God. But also, you receive the ability to operate, hallelujah, through faith to, to manifest the promises of God. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So, so, so if I'm not working, hallelujah, according to my faith, then my faith is dead, being inactive. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So I have to activate my faith, hallelujah, and move forward so that faith can produce. Come on, hallelujah. Faith produces fruit. It produces results. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. As I move forward, forward in faith, I begin to see the fruit of my faith. Oh, oh, God. As you move forward in faith, you start to see the fruit of your faith. Uh -huh. It begins to pop out all over the place. Uh -huh. Yeah, the Bible says that Abel, because he offered up a more excellent sacrifice to God, that God was pleased with him. Hallelujah. And it says that even though Cain killed Abel, his blood still speaks from the earth. Hallelujah. Faith will make you give God a more excellent sacrifice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go through this real quick. Faith will make you like Abel give God a more excellent sacrifice. Lack of faith will make you act like Cain and be jealous. Come on. Somebody shout out. No reason to be jealous. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is no respect of a person. Come on. Hallelujah. He told Cain, why are you acting like this? Uh, if you act right, He said, Cain, get it together because sin is knocking at your door and sin wants to control you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And Cain lost everything because of jealousy. The next thing that faith will do, hallelujah, faith will make you walk in the way that pleases God. The Bible says that Enoch, who did not see death, he was translated because he had this report that he pleased the Bible here in Hebrews tells us it's impossible to please God without faith. So, so we don't have to worry about do's and don'ts. All we have to do is take the limits off of our faith in God because our faith will let us begin to walk circumspectly before the Lord. Amen. You don't have to worry about how to stop smoking and how to stop shacking and how to stop um, Hallelujah. All you have to do is take the limits off of God. Take the limits off of your faith in God. 
Anybody feeling the power? I see it all over you. I see change all over you. God said, build the ark because there's something that's going to come in. Uh, there's something that won't come, but there's something that's going to come. Stop being concerned about those who are not coming, y'all. I'm not talking about coming to church because God wants everybody to be saved. God don't want nobody to, prepare, to perish. If they don't come to this church, you pray that they go to somebody's church. Come on, somebody. God is concerned about souls. We should be concerned about souls. That's why we're praying. We should be praying for our family members who are not saved. God doesn't want anybody to perish. But what I'm saying is, when people don't come alongside of your dream, don't worry about it. When people don't believe in your dream, don't worry about it. Amen. 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 He learned his lesson. He took Lot with him. Lot was nothing but trouble the whole time. Some people you got to leave behind. Who am I talking to? I said, some people you just got to leave behind. They will never understand the call of God that's on your life. They will never understand the faith that you have for a better life. They will never understand the great dreams that you have for greatness. Anybody got dreams to be great? Anybody got dreams to make an impact on the world? Anybody got dreams? Hallelujah. Hallelujah for nations. Anybody got dreams that God's going to use you in a mighty way? Hallelujah. God told me And some of the things you do will save your family. Some of the things that you do, your whole family is going to be saved. Your obedience to God will save your whole family. You're not giving up on God. Get up and go to church. Ain't no time to be staying home. You have to push yourself. Come on. I have to push myself to get up and go to the gym this week. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I want to sit on the couch and keep eating. <laughs> Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. Because we all have a weakness. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I push myself to get up and go to the gym and get on that treadmill and walk for 45 minutes. Hallelujah. 4.0 miles, coming 3.2 miles, 568 calories. I push myself. Come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, but, but go get Hagar 
pregnant. Come on, somebody. So, hey, I got pregnant. Uh, and Sarah said, she's going to that gonna be my kid. Don't, Sarah. That ain't going to be your kid because that's Hagar's kid. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can't live vicariously through somebody else. You can't live vicariously through somebody else. What God has for you to do is for you to do. What dream God has put on the inside of you is for you to be that teacher, to be that nurse, uh, to be that psychologist, uh, to be that preacher, to be that prophet, to be that evangelist. Uh, God has given you something to do. Uh, and God says, take the limits off. Uh, take the limits off of me uh, and do what I called you to do. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh,
your family going to come together? How are your kids going to come up for drugs? How are they going to come up out of those homosexual relationships? How is this church going to grow? How are we going to do with God? God, I said God. I said God. How God? Who God? What? God. Come on and give God some praise.